everyone. A huge warm welcome to Hashcode 2020. I'm Kristen from the Hashcode events team and I work at Google in New York City. And my name is Przemek. I'm part of the Hashcode engineering team here at Google Paris. We are very excited for today's online qualification round and we hope that you are too. More than half of you competing today are new to Hashcode, so we wanted to give you a rundown of how today's round will work. Prashimik and I will spend the next few minutes sharing some key details about this year's contest, a reminder of the rules and schedule for the round, and of course, the information you're all waiting for. At the very end of this live stream, we'll announce the topic for this year's challenge. What we will share about the challenge during this live stream is just a teaser of what to expect. Your team will be able to access the full problem statement in the judge system just after this live stream ends. Before we get to the juicy challenge reveal, let's rewind some. We're broadcasting to you today from Google's Paris office. The Google Paris office is in a very central location in the city, which means it's close to a lot of cool tour sites like the Opera Building. The Hashcode engineering team is mostly based here in Paris, but has volunteers all around the world in Singapore, Munich, London, Zurich, and Mountain View and more. And of course, the Hashcode team has been busy the last few days getting ready for the online qualification round, which I think we have some photo evidence of. Ah uh, yes, here's the Hashcode engineering team making their final tweaks to the problem statement earlier this week. And we know that many of you, our contestants, have also been busy in the last few weeks preparing for Hashcode. Our Facebook group has been booming with uh, activity. There have been hundreds of posts from all of you around the world looking for teammates. Various communities such as universities or coding groups were holding problem-solving parties to get ready for Hashcode. And of course, many of you were solving our practice problem. It was very interesting to see the solutions uh, you posted online. Thank you for sharing them with the community, but uh, please uh, do hold off with sharing your solutions to today's problem until the round is over. And let's not forget about the hub organizers all around the world who have been busy preparing for their events. We want to take a minute here to stop and to recognize all of our incredible hub organizers. We know a lot of hard work goes into planning your events and we hope that they are amazing for you. These are some of the 2019 hub organizers, many of whom are back for more Hashcode fun this year. We're so grateful to them and the broader Hashcode community of hub organizers for all that you do. This year, more than 700 hubs are being organized by universities, offices, and programming clubs around the world. Hubs are taking place in 90 countries, including some new locations like South Korea, Namibia, and Argentina. We hope that uh, if you compete from a hub, you have a lot of fun wherever you are. On the technical side, here's a distribution of preferred programming languages that you selected when registering for Hashcode. As you can see, uh, C++ is uh, going strong. Um, not bad for a programming language that uh, has been around since the 1980s. And C++ is followed by uh, Java and Python 3. Remember that you can use any programming language you want to solve uh, today's problem. And specifically, you are not limited to the language you selected when registering for Hashcode. That was just for our information. One final thing to share is a bit uh, less scientific. Uh, here's a little poll we collected on Facebook asking how you all are preparing for Hashcode. Uh, I do agree that solving the practice problem is a, a very good idea. But if you're like me and you often procrastinate on things, um, it's a bit too late to solve the practice problem now. But don't worry, you will have the competition problem to solve very shortly. And speaking of Facebook, we can't wait to see all of your posts during the round. Use the hashtag HashCode on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter to show off to the global HashCode community what's going on with your team or hub during the round. If you share a public post with the hashtag, then you might be featured in the closing live stream later today. All right, Christine, I think it's time to talk about the plan for the next few hours. Sure. I can walk through the schedule for the round. Listen up. The next few details we share are very important. As we mentioned before, we'll be releasing the problem statement and the competition data sets in the judge system at 5.45 p.m. Universal Time Coordinated or UTC. To add a bit of suspense, 
The scoreboard and the judge system will freeze at 8.30 p.m. UTC for the final hour of the contest. Your team will still be able to submit solutions, but you won't know how your team ranked until the end of the competition. The 9.30 p.m. submission deadline is a hard stop. Be sure to give yourselves enough time to get your submissions in and don't wait until the last minute. We'll be joining you again via live stream shortly after the competition ends to share some fun highlights and to announce the top teams. And now for some important rules and reminders, over to you Prashemek. The problem statement that we will release in the judge system in just a few minutes will contain everything you need to know. So it will specify the format of data sets, the format of the submission files, what it means for your submission to be valid, and how the submissions will be scored. As Prashimik mentioned earlier, you can use any programming language or even multiple different languages to solve today's challenge. An important feature of Hashcode is that you're free to use the development environment of your choice. And know that any team member can make submissions on behalf of the entire team. And there is no penalty for multiple submissions, so you should feel free to submit as much as you like. Remember that with every submission, we ask you to attach a source code that you use to generate the solution either as a single file or as a zip archive with multiple files in it. The size of the file that you attach in the judge system is limited to 16 megabytes, so please avoid including binaries or generated files. Finally, we are not going to run your programs, but we would like to be able to review the code to ensure that the terms and conditions of the competition are met. Remember that every team has to work individually and submitted solutions have to be original. You can use third-party libraries and tools, but please do not ask your family, friends, your hub's pizza delivery person, or strangers on the internet for help. We rely on you to keep the competition honest and exciting. And speaking of exciting, uh, everyone is competing for a spot at our World Finals in Dublin on April 25th, where teams will be competing for those medals, for cash prizes, and very importantly, for their spot in Hashcode history. And with that, it is time to announce this year's competition topic. We've had a lot of guesses from all of you on Facebook about what would be the theme of this year's challenge. And there were many good ideas out there, but no one seems to have guessed right, even though the competition topic tonight is one of our oldest Google projects, Google Books. We're really excited to feature one of our oldest products and original moonshots as this year's competition problem. Google Books launched in 2004 and has hundreds of millions of users worldwide. Before we break away and get this contest started, the product manager for Google Books has a short message she would like to share with you all. Hey Hashcoders, I'm Erin, the librarian and product manager on Google Books. It's amazing to see so many developers from all over the world taking part in this year's Hashcode competition. And I am especially excited that all of you will be working on a challenge that's focused on Google Books. In just a few moments, you will get a glimpse inside the day-to-day -day work and the challenges we tackle on the Google Books team. With more than 40 million scanned books so far, reaching hundreds of millions of users worldwide, not only is it interesting work, but it's also impactful. And of course, it's a product that closely supports Google's mission of making information accessible and useful to people all around the world. And just like our users, the Google Books team is spread across the globe. I have teammates in Beijing, Munich, and here with me in Mountain View. It's a complex and rewarding challenge to identify and scan all the books ever published, which you'll get a glimpse of when you start working on this problem with your team. I want to take this opportunity to congratulate all of you for challenging yourselves and choosing to take part in this year's Hashcode. I've been on the Google Books team for four years now and worked in libraries many years before that. Google Books is a project that is close to my heart and I hope that you enjoy working on this challenge as much as I enjoy coming to work each day. Good luck and have fun. All right, the time is here. The problem statement will be released shortly in the judge system, so it is time for your team to get ready. Remember that Hashcode is not just about your final score or how your team ranks on the scoreboard. At least from our perspective, it's about trying your best and learning something new along the way. We hope that all of you will have a good time and if you don't know where to start, we suggest that you solve the example from the problem statement first. 
it's the first of the competition data sets and it will already earn you some points. If you have any questions during the round, be sure to check out the Frequently Asked Questions page of our site, g.co slash hashcode. Remember, we'll be back on the same live stream shortly after the round to reveal the top teams. And if you have a chance to take a break from coding during the round, remember to post photos of your hub and of your best hashcode selfie on social media. If you use the hashtag hashcode, then you might be featured in the closing live stream later today. But for now, Good luck, get ready, and we'll see you in four hours. Welcome back everyone. I'm Kristen from the Hashcode Events team. I hope the round is what you expected and more, and that you're not too tired after a few hours of intense coding. Prashimic is looking over your submissions with the engineering team now, so we can release the scoreboard and the judge system shortly. So instead, I'm joined now by my colleague, Max. Hi, I'm Max. I'm a software engineer for YouTube in Paris. I'm super excited to see that such a high number of teams have submitted solutions. I heard it's more than 10,000. We never had this before. Congrats to all of you for your hard work. Yes, it was clear you all were hard at work during the round solving this year's Google Books Challenge. But even with so many data sets to tackle, we were impressed to see that you were able to squeeze in some time to post on social media. We love seeing the photos and tweets coming in from teams and hub organizers all around the world. We hope you enjoyed seeing them too. Before we get to the big news of announcing this, these results, we wanted to share a little recap of the day and how we got to this point. Take it away, Max. Well, photos started coming in very early today. Many hub organizers were very, working very, very hard on preparing for the teams to arrive. I'm super excited to see that you put so much energy into this. At 5.30 p.m. UTC, we kicked off the round with a live stream. And then people all around the world started tuning in. Teams were ready to compute in uh, Kigali, Rwanda, and we hope they liked hearing from the Google Books product manager. Also, this is uh, 42 Silicon Valley, one of the largest hub in the US and just down the road from the Google headquarters in California. They were also tuning in from a hub hosted in the Google Developer Group in Moscow. We had dozens of Google developer groups and developer student clubs hosting hubs this year, which was awesome to see. And finally, a hub at Bilkent University in Turkey. Great to see so many people excited about Hashcode. But wait, Max, this year we not only had humans participating, we also had some nice animals competing today. These costumes made us laugh. Who knew horse heads were so fashionable? We also saw a few messages about some error response from our judge system while we were releasing the problem statement. Max, do you know what happened? Yes, there were indeed some error messages. At the beginning of the round, we observed some high, high latency. Scaling from 0 to 100,000 users took the Google Cloud app around 30 seconds, but that was obviously enough for a few of you to post on social media that you've seen this error message. 
Uh, what you can see nicely on the graph is that when the problem statement actually got released, there's a spike. So everybody tried to access the judge at the same time. Seems like everyone got to the problem statement very quickly. The first submission came only after one minute and 43 seconds. The team to do that was the coding bats with 16 points. This team found their way to the example data set super fast. But they were not the only ones. Very rapidly, the scoreboard filled up. And just a few minutes in, tens of teams had submitted. And as you can see, they were likely all working on example A because they had exactly 16 points. We could tell it was going to be a very tight competition early on because it started exactly like this. And maybe also for the top teams, it's very, very close. Who knows? As the scoreboard filled up, we really enjoyed seeing all of the creative team names you chose. For instance, we had Heaps Don't Lie. Well, actually, I prefer stacks over heaps. I'm sorry about that. And um, there's the Heisenbach certainty principle. I really hope that you did not occur, have a Heisenbach. And finally, somebody playing with Unicode. There's a four-person team clearly looking into a computer. Early on, we also recognized some familiar names from last year's online qualification round. Last year, or this year, we saw a team name from, from Future Import Solutions, who was sixth place last year as well as Simplicimus, who was, took seventh place last year. We also found a team referencing their name last year, which was Please Fix Guinness in Ukraine. And this year, the team name was Guinness is still bad in Ukraine. Keep working, thanks. I guess they really want to go back to the finals in Dublin. All of you all were really hard working, working on the problem statement this year. In Brazil, we found a team writing solutions on the table. And we also had a team in Japan print out the problem statement instead. This is how like, I like to work. I love highlighting things myself. But of course, people were not just working all the time, but they also took breaks um, and turned towards their favorite food, which is pizza, of course. Pizza has been a big part of Hashcode since the beginning. In fact, our first problem statement was about pizza, and so was the practice problem, as you might have noticed. And not only were teams enjoying pizza, this year more than 65 team names included the word pizza in their name somehow. I guess, I don't know why. Um, but not all hubs had pizza. Some hub close, probably very close to us in France, swapped their pizza for cheese and baguettes. Well, in the office here in Paris, we also had pizza for dinner. Many volunteers working during the round to answer your questions and keep the systems running all the time were also eating pizza. Besides eating pizza, we asked all of you all to email us your best selfies. Our favorite selfie was from Christian from Romania, who took this picture in front of the running live stream. Thanks, Christian. But let's get more serious now. People were working hard, and as you know, one hour before the end, the scoreboard froze. That's not a bug, but a feature. Um, this we do, so uh, you don't really know how other teams are doing, and there's a bit more excitement um, because it's hidden. Um, as you probably know very well, the highest scoring team at this point was Team Vada, won't ban us from Guinness, right? With a score of 27.1 million. Do you think they will be among the top teams? Who knows? In just a few minutes, we'll release the scoreboard in the judge system so you can see how your team stacked up against the competition. Remember that top teams today's round will be invited to the World Finals at Google Ireland in April. And if you're curious to find out what your team might experience at the finals in Dublin, here's what some past Hashcode finalists had to say about their experience. It's pretty good to be here in Dublin and meet a lot of old friends and make new friends. There was people from all over the world and it was just great. You just go with it and see where it leads. It was an amazing experience for us. My first experience in Ireland is the people are really funny. The most uh, exciting part of the uh, hash code is to meet with wonderful people in here. Getting together with other people that are all solving the same problem is great fun and good to sort of see the, the general vibe in the room. I didn't expect our team to score that high in the preliminary, so it was a really nice surprise being invited to the Google hash code finals. You try something and you see, oh, that's gorgeous, that like went so much up. <laughs> it's just like so much better, it's like that rush you get. 
Now I'm even more excited for the finals in Dublin. As Flamek mentioned at the start, many w there are many ways to approach the hash code problems and not just a unique solution. So if you're curious to see how other te uh, teams solved it, please use the hashtag hashcodesolved to share your solution on social media or discuss with other teams. And if your team had other ideas for your solutions and that you ran out of time to implement, don't worry. We'll be reopening the judge system for the extended round shortly. The extended round will stay open until March 9th. Remember that this round is just for fun. It's a chance for your team to keep working on your solution to see how your score improves. Your team's performance in the extended round will not impact your rankings in tonight's online qualification round. If you're looking for more competitions, well, you can use the same coding competitions profile so to register for other coding competitions by Google. Kristin, which competitions are coming up? Next up, we have Code Jam which opens registration in just a few days on March 3rd. In CodeJam, developers solve challenging algorithmic puzzles over multiple rounds from April to June. The top 25 developers are invited to the World Finals, which will be held in Munich, Germany this August. I can also share that the registration for Kickstart is open now. Kickstart is our year-round online programming competition. It's a great contest for programmers of all skill levels. There will be eight online rounds this year, and you can choose to compete in as many of these rounds as you would like. If this sounds interesting to you, you can head over to their website to learn more and to register now. Finally, we would also like to hear from you. I actually read all the feedback you submit because I'm strongly interested in improving the competition. We will send out a survey shortly. Please take a minute to answer it. OK, Max, I think we're ready to share the results. Before you head to the scoreboard, Thank you again for taking part in Hashcode 2020 and for making today's competition so great. Regardless of your rank, we hope you enjoyed working on the challenge this year. Max, do you want to kick us off with the results? Well, first of all, I would like to remind you that the ranking um, I'm going to present is preliminary because it's from the judge system. The Ench team is still reviewing your code and the final results will be released early next week. Well, now it's getting hot. We had about 700 hubs from all around the world, but which are the three ones scoring highest by total number of points? Well, let's get started. On position number three, we have a hub from Poland, and it is University of Warsaw with 608 million points. Congrats to everybody competing from there. The next hub had just 2 million points more. Who could it be? It's not Poland again. It is a hub in Italy, University of Trento, 610 million. And finally, the top hub by far, guarantee BBVA technology from Turkey with impressively of like 910 million points. Now let's take a look at which countries came out on top. This year, developers were competing in almost every country in the world. Max, which countries took the top three positions in terms of top score or total score? Well, let's take a look. On position number three, we had a country which was there last year as well. It is, in fact, Romania with 22 billion points. Position number two was position number one last year. It is, in fact, France, where we started the competition, and they have 36 billion points in total. And for the first time on the first spot, we have India with 92 billion points. Congrats. For the first time in Hashcode history, we had more than 10,000 teams submitting a solution. So it's about time that it's getting extra exciting as we reveal the top three teams from today's round. Max, who do we have? Yes, now it's getting very exciting. On position number three, well, we have the team which was first during the Frozen scoreboard. It is Vada won banners from Guinness right with a, a score of 27 million. But be careful. The next team had only 3,000 points more. It is a well-known team to us. It is past glory with 27 million points and just 3,000 points more. But the winning team is Starcode from Japan with 27.2 million. So they actually made a difference. Congratulations to all of them for your impressive work. 
Congratulations to the top teams and everyone participating. Right after this live stream, we'll release the scoreboard in the judge system. We can't wait to meet the finalists in Dublin this year. We love to keep in touch with you all before hash code 2021. Please join our Facebook group for regular updates about all things coding competitions and also to be the first to know when this year's world final results are announced. Well, finally, thank you. I hope you learned something like I do every day at work. Thank you again for all the energy everybody put into the competition. So with that, congratulations and goodbye from Paris. <laughs>